Hello Cancer. This is Salt Intuition Tarot. It's time for another reading, y'all. I wish y'all would like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Hit the like button, notification bell, so that you'll be notified for future videos. Alright, Cancer. Shuffle the cards, and what I have for you is the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's talking about you're just not willing to uh, have a new beginning in love. You're just not willing to do it. Uh, some of y'all, now, this may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest. But it looks like that somebody is not ready or willing to have another go at love right now. They're just not. It seems that some of y'all have been single for a long time. Nine of Pentacles. You've really worked on your stability. You've worked on being uh, emotionally and physically fit. That's what I want to say. You don't need anybody. You feel like you're better off alone. You have been alone for a long time. Yeah, that's not a not a pinnacles, and you have the knight of cups and the page of cups in reverse. It seems like uh, you're not ready to receive any love offers. You're not ready to give any love offers. Uh, there is not been a situation that has came up for you with the Page of Cups in reverse that you are willing to give an opportunity to. You don't even want to give anybody any opportunities in love. You're really working on work. I would say that you would be working very hard right now and just being very independent. And with the bird on the card of Nine of Pentacles, it's talking about freedom. Your freedom's not worth, you don't want to give up on your freedom for any situation right now. And how we got to this point is that you had the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. How we got to this point is because you've decided, you know, I made a go of it. I walked away from someone that just could not stop coming in and out of my life. Uh, they just were not a permanent fixture. Never wanted to be. Never act like they wanted to be there. And I gave them chance after chance. And I did stick it out with them, you know. You're thinking I stuck it out with them. But guess what? It caused me to be up all night worried about things. Feeling trapped to a situation that was not trapping you. This person was in and out energy. So that's what led up to what's going on right now in your life with the Nine of Swords. All that sleepless nights, all the, you know, feeling mentally trapped, um, fear, anxiety of what is really going on, never knowing from one day to the next where you stood. Knowing you needed to walk away from someone that just didn't feel passionate or motivated about anymore. And then we have, with the Cosmic Insights, by the way, I was using Ask Yourself Tarot by Monica Lou. Find that on Amazon. And now we're going to the Cosmic Insights. We have Give It Time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. What else do we have for cancer? We also have, yes, luck is on your side. You can also take it as, yes, you're dealing with a narcissist. Someone is that's too full of themselves. Someone's too full of themselves to give any time, attention. You have honeymoon. There was a, like a love bombing phase. There was somebody that, you know, really 
put it on real thick at the beginning, but all that subsided, you know, when the honeymoon phase was over. But just know that everything is going to work out in your favor. There's divine timing on your side, okay, Cancer? I'm going to get you some tea leaf fortune cards out. And remember that readings are, I'm calling out the cards that Spirit has led me to give to you. Now, I'm telling you what the cards are, so you can form your own interpretation of the cards. I am the messenger, but you can rely on your own understanding, your own intuition, when I call out the cards, so that you'll know what's going on. You know, it'll fit, fit you better when you use your own intuition of the cards that I'm calling out. Or if you just want to sit here and listen to me talk and explain my intuition, my intuitive thoughts about the matter, then I appreciate you taking your time out to listen. But mostly focus on the cards that I'm telling you you're getting. And if you don't know the cards, you can look them up later. All right. With the tea leaf cards, let's see what you have. What does cancer have with the tea leaf cards? What does cancer need to know? Wow. You have celebration, fun, enjoyment, victory in some endeavor, forces working against you. There's something that you need to give the axe to. Something that's not working in your favor. You really need to cut it out, okay? Or you have cut it out. And uh, you have work, achievement, success. With the ant, you have the dog protection from a powerful friend. There's some could be somebody coming in to protect you. Um, somebody is against you, and I feel like you have a friend that really protects you. So you would know who that is, and you're going to get some kind of a achievement in work. There's a victory in some type of endeavor that you're going on. Okay, let's see what else. What else? Let's see. You have, last card, is teardrops. Great personal sorrow. Maybe things didn't work out the way you had planned. And you also have getting together with friends. And a great personal sorrow. I don't, I feel led to say this. There may be a friend that's no longer with you. That causes you great personal sorrow when you think about being with your friends. There's somebody not there. But anyway, that's your reading. Like, share, comment, as well, subscribe.